let's explore the Excel go to feature. So in Excel, you can press F5. And when you press F5, a little box pops up. And what's nice about this box is that I can type in some label, some name box label, period five. So I have a number of different students in this class here, and I can jump straight to period five. I have all these students, different classes here, and it's quite long and I have to do a lot of scrolling. And to minimize scrolling, I could just jump by pressing F5 and I can click on period three, for example, and click OK, and it jumps to period three. Now, how did, how did we know that it's gonna jump here? When I clicked here, I actually typed in into this nice name box. So normally, the name box, if you click on a certain cell, is simply the column and the row. So when I click here, I get column H, row 40. However, if you want this to have a special name, you just click into the name box and you type in some nice name. Now be careful you don't type in a name that's too short. For example, if I call this P3 and press enter, it's gonna be confused because Excel will simply jump to column P row three. So your name has to be a little bit longer than usual or you shouldn't somehow choose a name that's not gonna be confusing with simple columns and rows. So the go to feature, just remember that we press F5 to have the box pop up and this go to feature works hand in hand with us actually renaming the actual name box uh, defaults which has the column and rows. Now the key idea is that it saves time as you're navigating throughout your workbook and of course you can always resort to using your arrow keys up down left right and if you even practice some keyboard shortcuts you can press home or you can even try pressing page up or page down which is pretty fast and there are some other keyboard shortcuts that we can also talk about in some other video so remember the go to feature by pressing F5